Next general Lamborghini is to get manually adjustable torque vectoring. The Lamborghini Lanzador revealed at Monterey Car Week could debut remarkable torque vectoring technology, according to the automaker's chief technical officer. The Lanzador is our first look at what a fully electric Lambo could be. And according to CTO Ruven Moore, it's also filled with clever technology to make the driving experience all the more exciting. You may have noticed the paddles behind the steering wheel and wondered what they could be for. This isn't for some simulated dual-clutch gearbox like you'll find on the new Ionic 5N, but rather a way of controlling the torque vectoring on the rear axle while on the move. Speaking with the drive, Moore said with electric torque vectoring and wheel speed control, you have greater possibilities for handling because it won't have the time delay of combustion drive train. Now we can make it do what we want immediately. Torque vectoring has become relatively common and improves vehicle dynamics by using a computer that controls how much power is sent to the individual driven wheels. This gives the driver more grip in slippery conditions, allowing for better acceleration and greater control. However, these systems have never provided drivers with the choice of manually controlling the torque vectoring system. Lamborghini wants to change this. In one of the driving modes, you can modify with the paddles the torque vectoring of the rear on the fly. So you're driving in the corner, you pull the paddle, woof, you move torque from the inner side to the outer side. So you play with the yaw distribution. This is not possible in the combustion car, he remarked. BMW is also exploring the world of specialized torque vectoring for EVs as it gears up to produce the inevitable, its first all electric M3. Lamborghini has realized that imitating ICE cars is not the solution. A different approach offering unique benefits inherent to EVs is what Sonagata must adopt. The CTO believes imitating the best ICE supercars would make them second best. If you do this approach, you demonstrate that you are best at imitating, noted more. If you do this approach, you demonstrate that you are best at imitating. Perfecting this will take some time, which is why the Lanzador is roughly five years away. Moore notes that the development of the production car is already underway and that the automaker is keen on keeping the adjustable torque vectoring system. While we suspect most buyers will use this for no more than posing, hopping into their Revuelto when the urge for spirited driving overcomes them, we're glad to see that Lamborghini is determined to ensure even electric bulls are out of this world.